guys, welcome back to War Room. As many of you may have noticed, uh, it's winter, and at least here in California, the days are getting a lot shorter, the nights are long, and uh, a lot of playtime might be rolling over into that, that, that evening and the, into the dark. And as a lot of HVZs continue to ramp up for this season, I wanted to talk a little bit about some stuff that uh, I've researched over the past year and started getting into a little bit, and that's lights. So the first HVZ event I went to, I realized, oh, crap, this is going to be at night. Like, what the heck am I going to do? And all I had was something like this, right? This is my um, emergency light. You can tell how awesome and bright that is, uh, you know. It's just an old, I think it takes like two C batteries, and it's like a really dim, I can walk around and find things in the dark, but other than that, it's pretty terrible. And I knew I wasn't going to, you know, rock this with an Alpha Trooper uh, you know, strapped on top to a, of an Alpha Trooper. It just wasn't going to work. So I went and I bought a little, um, just, you know, you can get them at the dollar store. They're like an aluminum light that has like three LEDs for a buck or two, something like that. I might have got it at Home Depot or something. Uh, and I strapped it on to my Alpha Trooper. It worked fine. Um, it actually came in blue, so it looked cool. It kind of matched the Elite color scheme. But uh, it didn't work as great as I wanted to. Now, if you do it, that's a great option. Don't feel like uh, I'm, I'm downplaying it. It's just I wanted to try to see what else was out there, right? <clears throat> so I started doing some research over the last year, and one of the first things that I tried out uh, after I, I, you know, had used that other light was something like this. And this is just a little um, uh, a headlamp. This is, again, sort of the same thing. This was a 9 LED because the, the little one that I had was 3, so I figured I'd upgrade to a 9. I think this came uh, relatively cheap. It was in a pack of 3, I think, for like 10 bucks at Costco. Um, and, you know, it's all right. It's not super bright either. Uh, it didn't perform. You know, I figured you're getting 3 times the LEDs. It's, it's going to be way better. That is not necessarily the case. But I think that this is a great option for most people. Now, I tend to rock hats. Uh, when I play, so, uh, you know, if I tilt this down, uh, you know, if I have a longer uh, bill, like on a lot of the hats I play in, <clears throat> sort of gets in the way a little bit. So it wasn't an option that worked for me, and this is one of the things that I, you know, always stress on this is finding something that works that is unique to your uh, play style, right? It's going to work and meet all of your needs. Now, this doesn't work for mine. That doesn't mean it's not going to work for most people. In fact, I would say that uh, if people ask me, this would probably be what I would recommend. Something like this. You, <coughs> excuse me, might want to go up to, uh, they have some like higher powered LEDs. There's a lot of different options and configurations. Like I said, this was just a cheap one. There's nothing wrong with that. This takes, I think, three, uh, three triple A's. I wanted something that was just easy for me to power uh, to test it out. Uh, I did start looking into, like I said, the higher powered ones. And uh, there are a lot of great options out there with, that have like high, low settings and various things. I just didn't want to go this route because, like I said, I wear hats. So... Uh, most of you might want to look into something like this. Uh, they, there's a huge range of like these being like a 3 for 10, as I said, to, you know, 50, 60, 100 dollars plus for, you know, a headlamp that does various things. Some of them are adjustable. Uh, they've got a ton of different stuff out there. So, uh, headlamp, one option. The other is putting something on a blaster. And, um, you know, there's various ways to do that. You can just duct tape it on, you can buy third-party accessories. There was a guy who was making one uh, that would actually go onto a Nerf rail and it used a um, a, uh, a, a O-ring uh, to strap over and actually hold the light on and it held various size lights. I thought that was really cool. It's a couple of different 3D printed ones. Now when you're looking at them, see what they offer and, and how they work because some of them work specifically with a light or a type of light or a size of light, especially the 3D printed ones. Uh, unless they like split apart or do something like that. There's various uh, different ways that people have gone about doing this. You might want to get uh, like an airsoft uh, adapter that is made to hold various different tack lights and then get a um, an adapter to from that rail system to Nerf because there are people that 3D print those. Maybe that's something that you want to do. Uh, there's different things. If you are going to get some, like I said, some come with a light and oftentimes I've seen this happen where uh, it comes with those same kind of dollar LED uh, lights that you can get for, like I said, a relatively cheap, and they, they'll charge you like 10 bucks for them because it's made to fit that light, so you buy that and the light together, and it's decent, uh, but if you know you're, you're, you can buy it elsewhere for cheaper and just get the part, that might be something you, you want to uh, look into. Anyway, 
If you're doing that, uh, let me show you the second thing that I started using. And that was something like this. This isn't the exact one. This is a Phoenix uh, LD01. This is what I carry around with me every day now. Um, this one twists on, but the first one that I had was, um, I had a little push button in the back. So I, I literally, this is so light that I literally just duct taped it to my blaster and you could tap it on, tap it off. <clears throat> it was good to go. It had a high low mode like this one does. Um, it was going off in my pocket and since I do carry this around every day, I upgraded to this guy so I could twist it because I didn't want it going off and the battery was dead whenever I wanted to use it. But if you're getting it exclusively for Nerf, um, <coughs> you know, this is, this is a solid option. It's definitely a lot brighter than the 9 LED stuff. It's brighter than my kitchen emergency light. Um, and I carry this with me every day. You know, like I said, it has a couple of high-low modes, so I can use it in low mode. If you're searching around for an extended period of time, it's going to last a little bit longer. This one, however, this is the, the downfall to it. I wanted to find something that had a battery that I it was relatively easy for me to, to find. You can get some that have watch batteries and things like that, but then I gotta buy extra, and if they expire, it's just kind of a hassle. So I wanted something with a normal battery. This is just a AAA. Uh, it was great because it was small and light and relatively inexpensive. The first one I had, I think, was 10 bucks. This one might have been like 30, because um, it's a little bit higher quality uh, LED in here. But, um, you know, it doesn't last very long, because it's just one single uh, uh, AAA battery, and AAAs just are sort of notorious for dying relatively quickly. But like I said, this is a good option, especially if you're going to combine it with maybe a headlamp. Maybe you're rocking that most of the time because it lasts a long time and then you just have this on and you need something a little bit brighter because you're searching for something or what have you. And, uh, you know, that's definitely an option. Uh, I kept going on from there. I wanted to see, I wanted something brighter, something that would go further. And I started looking into things and learning about lights and, you know, light temperatures and the throw and the the uh, the beam and the, the how wide it goes and there's a ton of different stuff where you get into lights, right? And uh, so the next thing I got was something like this. And you might be going like, Josh, I don't understand. You just said you weren't going to use your, you know, emergency flashlight. Well, first off, this is a little bit longer. This is sort of like a mag light -like style light. It's a Coast brand I got at Costco. Um, and I wanted something that was really, really bright. This was one of the brightest lights I could find in the price range. I, I know I could get like a giant spotlight and hold it around with me. I obviously didn't want that. Um... A lot of you might be going like, well, if, you know, how are you going to run this? Well, if you're running something like a uh, Strife, maybe you just, you know, you want to be like that, that cop on TV and you've got it and you're, you're ready to go. But, uh, you know, there's also different options. Maybe you've got this while you're searching around. You know, you're looking for something, uh, trying to find it in an HVZ game because it's hidden. And you're searching because this is really, really bright and everybody's got headlamps. And then once you encounter like Zed's, this just goes into a pouch, or uh, they actually make little uh, flashlight rings that these can just fall into on uh, like a belt, um, and it'll carry that and it'll be fine, and then when you need it, you just pop it out and you're good to go. And this thing is, it's bright, guys. Um, I mean, I can light up the room with this. It does have a couple of different modes, and uh, one of the things I like about it, I hope, let's get it off of that, um, is just by pulling uh, the handle, I can adjust, you know, how wide the beam is and how I'm lighting things up, but this, like, I can read in this light. I don't know if this is coming through on camera, but I can definitely see things and, and do stuff really easily. So if I'm out uh, hunting Zeds, I can go really pinpoint and uh, the throw is a little bit better and it goes really far. Um, I'll turn the lights back on. Or I can make it really wide and, you know, we can search a, a very large area with one light instead of everybody kind of concentrating and not having great lighting. This will just like Boom, it's like daylight. You are going to be a little bit of more of a target with this, so depending on how you're playing, it's HBZ or Attack Ops, something to consider, but not something to rule out. I feel like most people would see this and say, like, well, definitely not going to use that because I can't. Well, certainly if you're running a Strife, you can, and even if you're running something like an Alpha Trooper, if you've got a, <coughs> a group with you, you know, you've got other people that presumably also have lights, you might just be the designated light guy while you're doing something, and then boom, it goes down, you draw up, and you are good to go. But I feel like this isn't this isn't for most people, but it's definitely an option that you might want to consider. <coughs> uh, what I've ended up going with recently has been this little guy, and I got this. This is a little bit more expensive. That last one was a little bit more expensive. It was a Costco, I think, for forty dollars, something like that. Um, this little guy was around fifty. I got it online. It comes with this little pouch, so I can put it on my belt or clip it to me or anything I want to do. Um, I actually made out of a retaliator foregrip, a, uh, I, I, I kind of jerry-rigged something up so I can clip a light onto it, it'll stay. So, 
let's get that out of the way. This is a little uh, Jet Beam PA-10 that it was, it's about half as bright, I believe it's for 550 lumens and my big one is a thousand something. Um, it has a high, medium, low mode. Um, I like that. I like that it was small, but it's, you know, bigger than, than this guy. <clears throat> So I wasn't gonna be able to probably just duct tape this guy on. It does have the, the push button in the back, uh, like an ultra bright LED. Um, if you can see that. Um, <coughs> now it does have some different modes. Like this is cycling between a high, medium, low. Um, it has. And let's see if I can oh, get it going here. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Um, there we go. So it does have this sort of. Uh, one of them's an SOS, one of them just keeps blinking mode, which I thought was really cool. Like, maybe, um, you know, this is something that I put up. I don't necessarily have to have this on my blaster. I could put this on something, and it's it's flashing like this over here, um, you know, like a strobe light. And maybe that I'm going to use that to sort of trap zombies, or it's going to attract them, because they're going to go like, well, somebody's flashing a light. They're not just, uh, you know, obviously it's not just staying on, so... You know, it's, 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 there's a lot of things you could do with it. Now, if you are going to use something like this, definitely check with your admins. You want to make sure that it's going to be legal. Like, how bright can you go? You don't want to blind anybody. I mean, 5 isn't probably going to blind most people, but I tend to use this on low mode. I think it only lasts for, like, 15 minutes on uh, the highest mode that it has because the battery will just die again. I wanted something with a battery that I could uh, relatively easily procure if I needed it. So this is just a double, runs on a double A. Um, it'll actually even run on like a uh, <clears throat> trust fire or an IMR, something with it has higher voltage, and it'll actually, I can't go through all the modes, it'll only run on high, but I mean, in, if this thing died out and I didn't have an extra battery and someone's like, dude, I have an extra one for my Strife, boom, I'm good to go. So this, it's kind of covered all my bases, it didn't take a ton of batteries where I was going to need to bring like an extra 12 pack with me, um, you anyway, know, I just have an extra one and I'm good to go in case this dies. Um... But yeah, so there's a, there's a lot of different options out there. Uh, this guy, I just felt, uh, I wanted it for more than just Nerf. I wanted it for some of the other things I do outside of that, and I thought this was a, a good light uh, that sort of balanced all those things. Now, again, there's a lot of things you're going to want to do if you're looking at a more expensive light like this that you're going to want to research, like the throw, like how far it goes out and how far away you can see, you know, how wide the beam gets, what, what temperature it is. That's kind of like the color of it's like more of a bluish, uh, more of a warm, uh, reddish, orange, uh, you know, how it, how it illuminates things, stuff like that. Um, so there's, there's quite a lot of different things out there, and again, you can get something that does pretty much this, but in a headlamp. So uh, it's how you want to attach to your blaster, um, you know, what you're going to do with it, how you play. You can still run this, and like I said, have a strife for even a hammer shot if you really want to be that guy and, and go out there um, and, and, and be, the, be the cop. Uh, you know, from, from Hollywood doing your thing. It's up to you. It's how you want to run it. Um, and that's, as always, kind of one of the things that we talk about here is, you know, figure out how you want to do something, why you want to do something, what works for you and your playstyle. And like I said, this one just happened to work for me. I don't want to say one is, this is the best, this one, you should go with something like this. You need a tack light, you need a mag light, you need this or that. <clears throat> Get out there, do some research on your own. Um, you know, maybe you've already upgraded your blaster and you've upgraded all of your gear and you know but then you have a light that is maybe lackluster it's not doesn't work the way that you want it to you want to be able to see further stuff like that maybe this is the next piece of kit that you're going to upgrade especially if you do a lot of nighttime hvz it might be worth it to have a quality light for you it's just something to think about that i feel like a lot of people i've seen just uh you know they grab whatever light kind of fits or they just bought something and then like uh, taped it on there or did something like that so um, be sure to check out, like, the various options that are out there. I said there's a lot of 3D printed stuff, there's different people doing different things, um, there's a lot of mods, like, BFU actually has a mod that, um, on one of his hammer shots, he found these little tiny lights that are, out of, they're powered by, like, a really tiny watch battery, and he just drilled a hole, and he basically fits them in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and he's, he's good to go. His, he can just turn it on on his hammer shot. And wherever he's pointing, he's got light. So, you know, there's a lot of various options depending on what you're running, how you're doing things. Maybe you already have LEDs built into your stuff. I don't know. But uh, let us know in the comments below what you guys do for lights. Do you, you know, 
use something uh, on your head? Do you like it? Prefer it on your blaster so you can like move it around corners, things like that. Are you allowed to use something that flashes? Uh, like I said, I don't, you don't want people having uh, epileptic seizures or anything like that. But uh, you know, so so check, see what's allowed and uh, and what suits your needs the most. So I think that's about it, guys. That'll do it. If you have questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. And uh, as always, stay safe, have fun, happy tagging. B, set the pace. We put the marker. Now all we have to do is defend our position. This is our land. This is your land.